How you going? It's Lee here from Outback Fencing. Today we're going to show you how to put in a full privacy slat top fence. Now this one in particular, um, we're going to show you how to install it using our base plates. Um, so that means that we're not going to be digging a hole into the ground, rather we've got a concrete slab that we're going to work with and we've got some steel base plates that we're going to bolt down uh, nice and hard on top of the concrete and then we're going to put our fence on top of that. So stay tuned and we'll show you how it gets done. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put our base plates in. Now, what I do, what I like to do is work out um, where the base plates are going to go at either end and put them in first. So we'll put a base plate at that end and now we're going to put a base plate at this end. Basically, put your base plate um, where it needs to go and then use something like a texture while it's in there and mark the holes. And once you've got the holes marked, then you just go along, use a hammer drill. I'm, I'm using 12mm bolts for these base plates, uh, thread rod by about 120mm long, and I'm using a 14mm uh, hammer drill bit. So basically we just go down about 100mm or more um, with those, and basically once you get your two ends right, then you can go along with your tape, and you mark from centre to centre 2450. Um, and that'll determine where all your other base plates need to go. Um, not only that, once you get the two end base plates in, you can run a string line from one base plate to the other. That way you know that all your base plates are going to be in a nice line. Now, if your concrete's nice and smooth and perfectly level, you're, you're happy base, but you might, if it's a little bit unplumbed, you're going to need to put a couple of uh, washers or whatever to get that base plate nice and level. Now what you want to do is just blow all that dust away out of the holes so that the um, when you use your liquid um, uh, set um, fix, uh, liquid anchor, it's going to hold real nice and tight. Don't breathe that stuff in. base plates in now, um, uh, we've, we've tightened them up and we've put all the bolts in for this stretch of run that we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> now, what I because obviously your posts, um, they're going to have enough length in them to go into the ground and concrete them, but obviously we're, bol we're bolting them onto a concrete slab. <coughs> so what I like to do is measure from the bottom rail 50 mil, because remember, you're going to have a nice little domicil cover around the bottom and that's about 40 mil so you want to be about five or ten mil above that so everything runs smoothly so we're going to do 50 mil now your marker might work a bit better than mine because it's probably not raining if it's raining here my marker doesn't work so what i'm going to do is just simply cut that nice and straight as i can with an angle grinder uh, Always double check your measurements before you cut because you know it's the old saying measure twice cut once these should just slide over really nice and easy look at that so basically what we do now is we go along and we do that for every single post um, cutting it at 50 mil putting it through there now while I've got it rolling we may as well put these domicil covers on and these just make it look not a lot nicer at the bottom and you just click them together basically you've got one that's like that and then this one clicks in at the top so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the clip sort of in line with the fence so it's not showing either side of the fence so you don't really see it so I'm gonna put that one there can be a little bit tricky. And 
And there you have it. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good to me. All right, so we've got all our base plates in, we've got our posts in, and we've got our uh, domicile covers in. You really want to get those domicile covers in before you put the panel on, because it makes it a bit difficult once the panel's in. So we've opened up our box, and this is one panel uh, in a box. So as you can see, we've got the bottom rail with the aluminium insert for strength. We're going to have a mid rail, and then we're going to have a top rail, and then we're going to have all the panels in between. Um, <clears throat> so, what to make what you do first is just uh, obviously you're going to have this aluminium insert that you can see in there, but also just give this a bit of a tip because you might have a couple of little flat toppers that hide themselves in there. So basically, with this, you just get this in. Got that all the way through. So you might need to give it a bit of a. Um, bit of a push because it's got little tabs in there. Once the tabs go through, it doesn't pop back out. Um, now, if you had a smaller panel, which we'll show you near the end here when we get to it, um, you simply just cut the panel shorter and just obviously double check all your measurements and you know you might need to cut one of these panels or whatever in half, um, you know, depending on how many you're gonna need for the cut panel. So, um, but basically what we do now, is we need to find a lot of packaging, that's for sure. At least you know it's not scratched. Mm -hmm. Alright, here you go, I found so this is what you want. These go on either end. Um, when you put these uh, panels in. So basically you slot your first one in and then you get this and just slot that on the end there. And just give that a little bit of a tap. So those end bits just really tighten up everything so you don't have any gaps or see-through. Uh, see, like sort of see-through mm -hmm. gaps. And then basically, it's just sort of like tongue and groove, it just sort of slots in. Put that in. Make sure it all clicks together. It's very secure. Oh, Last little bit down the end, like so. And you can just sort of move that over. That just sort of tidies that all up. Now what you want to find is your mid rail, you've got a little slot holes on top, and just work your way into that, sort of holding this on a bit of an angle, work that way onto there first, and then you're going to slap that in. Might be sort of playing around with your first one, but once you do one, the, uh, the others um, come together pretty easily. And now we've got your slap toppers. Um, did I say slap? <laughs> Slapped toppers. And these just basically slot in. tricky bit, putting the top rail in. There might be some editing and cuts out of this. Got it. 
As you can see, that's actually the hardest bit of the job, but still quite easy. Uh, just take your time and let the slats sort of guide themselves in. Um, once you've done it once, the rest is uh, the rest of the panels that you put up are easy peasy. All right, now after having done a fair few of these again, I thought I just might give you a few tips of how to put this top rail on with the slat toppers. Now, <clears throat> what I do do first is I do make sure that that English cap isn't secure yet. It makes it a whole lot easier. Now, you want to clip this end in, get this first slat in, and maybe even the second one in position. And you can probably even get behind it with your body and click that in. Get that first slat down. And then basically what you do now is that you can have this sort of like running on a bit of an angle so the slats are all like that. But that, then what you can do is you can just work each slat in and it actually works pretty good. Once you get a little system in place, each one just sort of works in. You might you need to give a little tap or you can even sort of pull it up a bit. There's a bit of play there. And then give that a bit of a tap down and then whack it in the end and give this a little bit of a tap in the middle make sure everything's all clicked in and that's the fastest way and the easiest way to do it really so all right now that the job's pretty much done just give that a good clean and inside here you want to use some builders glue um, you don't have to you can leave these sitting on there they sit on there pretty snug, but I think you'll probably find that these might go missing if you don't glue them on. So I recommend gluing them on, but it's totally up to you if you want to take that off and have access down the post. But uh, yeah, glue those on, that way you won't lose them. <laughs> 